Can we call the meeting to order? Roll call at 6.30. Roll call members. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. Flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Vote to approve or not approve the agenda as printed. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. I'll second. Okay. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Vote to approve or not approve the minutes of the May 14th regular board meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of May 14th. I'll second. I'll All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Vote to approve or not approve the minutes of the June 25th, 2018 special board meeting. I'll make that motion. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? I'm staying. Table yes. number six. Okay, I make a motion that we table number six. Uh, the minutes of June twenty fifth. And you can put the minutes that it was tabled due to. Brandy, do you want to second that? Yes. Okay. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Number seven, discussion of possible actions on encumbrances and financial reports for 2017-2018 school years. Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. 
Number eight, vote to approve your own approved request for state aid and our federal funds for school zero fund supplement 307 for 2017-2018. Approve the request for state aid federal funds. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Number nine, open bids, discuss, make recommendations, and take action on bread and milk bids for the 2018 2019 school years. Let's see if the table fell on mine. Absolutely. Because many keep, they're wonderful. I love working with them on our food, but they don't always. And I've not used them for milk. I can't say that. It's a guess that I understand it's, that. Yeah, and I can't say that they wouldn't, mm -hmm. but I can see them not being as eager to help us. Okay. And I'm not sure uh, that they would put it away for us, which I know sounds petty, but when you come to lifting, I mean, those milk crates, there's 50, and I mean, they weigh a lot, and it, it takes a toll on our people. I mean, that's. No, we're still on the I'm so sorry. This one is Oak Farms, and they're another one that comes with a milkman. And we have used them before, and we're happy with them. But they just try to find where they put this. And we could always try Mini Keith and see. I mean, but I think we're stuck with them for. And you got to keep in mind too that these are all escalating, de-escalating, and I should have brought those over. The milk prices change from month to month, and they look at any vendor. They're going to change as the stuff changes. One more milk. Get in. Get in. Yeah, and again, they're a food company. They, they, that's what they, I've, and I've never, I don't know if we've ever used them for milk. I have to offer the bid to everybody, though. I can't just. <laughs> I 
and they're at 26 on white and 25 on chocolate. But they don't have them They don't have them yet. The 25 on chocolate, 26 on white? Mm -hmm. Which is on. They come, uh, Guderian comes from Ada, which is quite a, and I'm not even sure what their delivery would be. I need it twice a week to, if we don't have the cooler space, especially for elementary, to store it the way they might deliver it. And I'm, I'm not sure how they deliver it. Like I said, I've never used them before. And usually they're being so high that we don't consider them, but this year it's not. <laughs> And that's all I've got on the milk. I mean, we are looking at a pretty good price difference. I just kind of grabbed October, and we used about 22,000 milk in October. 22,000. That's a lot. So the difference on the price, I mean, we're talking five cents, say, if we. And October is probably our biggest month, I mean, and that's what kind of dollars is that what that rounds out to be, to use any key purses. So if it were the same all, I mean, it'd be a pretty good savings. Like I said, October's big. 1100 A month. And you're, and you're comparing Highland versus Bay Key? Yeah. And that's just a rough, you know what I mean? We use more chocolate than we do white, so that could be, I mean, important. <coughs> and like I said, keep in mind that these prices are not locked in. They change every month. You know, Benny yeah. Keith could be bidding me low, and they all could. Any of them could be bidding me low. That's what it is right now, or that's what, and then I have, they'll hold that price for August because they have to, and then September 1st, I guarantee you, on any of them, mm -hmm. I'm going to get an escalating, de escalating. Sometimes it goes up a half a cent, sometimes it comes down. So the two that have a milkman, is, that's going to be highlighted in Oak Farms. And Oak Farms, like, obviously is out because they're 29 cents on both of them. Right. So I would just think. Which one do you want? I want a high one. But that's, I mean, that's about a $10,000. That's a lot of money. It is. We could try Benny Keith. I mean, and that's what I meant. Whenever we come to the bid, the bread, we did bread with them last year with Benny Keith. It came in frozen. And... Okay, so, okay, so I'm just 22, saying. 000, you said 22,000 units, right? A, approximately a month. And I did that for October because that's my largest month. That's that's the, that, the month we go the most. October and April are the two big months that we don't have breaks, a lot of breaks in. So if we narrowed that down, I should have narrowed it down by a smaller. If Hyman thought they were going to lose it, do you think they would come down a little bit? To be honest, I don't think I, I don't think these are negotiable because of them being sealed. I could be wrong, but I don't think they are. It seems like the number we used to walk that are very many people in the park comes about five thirty. Of course, that was years ago. See, and I don't even know. I found myself wishing I had called him today because. I know. I can worry. That he, you know, the last year or two, I taught a lot of mess of salad. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, how, how much more did you say that, that it was? Well, it's, if you average it out, it's about five cents more per We're using breakfast for five cents. Well, three cents on three cents on two cents. So two cents on white more. You just add it together. Yeah, yeah, that's five cents. You should go just if you just straight go with the, with the, the higher the, the higher difference. You're looking at six grand. You can't do. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Not, See, I was just doing five cents on the unit times twenty-two thousand. Yeah, but that's not. You so the, the, let's say let's say they were both. Let's say that the chocolate and white was both twenty-eight cents, and you and in total you have twenty-two thousand 
units, right? That's three more cents per unit. That's sixty-six thousand dollars. You move the decimal, sixty-six hundred. Six, yeah. It wouldn't be five cents because it would be the max three cents. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we can give it a try. Like I said, I, I know he wants it, and maybe I could. What happens if I'm really not happy? What happens if he won't deliver it to me twice a week? Can I get out of these well, what, contracts? What's the, where's the bid at? What what are we sitting on? This is exactly what we said. And I put on there. I mean, there are specs saying they have to deliver it when I want to. How long to have you used Highland? I've used them the last two years and before that. It was always between Highland and Oak Farm. Have you had any trouble with Highland's product or delivery? No. Or? And I was going to say, whenever we were out those couple of weeks, he came and rotated. We still had a problem. We came in one day, it was out. He was there within 30 minutes and brought me home in milk and credited me. I mean, he takes care of it. And I don't know that the other wouldn't. I just don't know that they would have the capability because if I call them, they're on a grocery route. You know what I'm saying? They're not just on a milk route. So what 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 do we send them? It says in there they have to do what I ask and they have to deliver it whenever I ask it to be delivered and I mean just maybe Keith said it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They all say it. Like you said, they're out delivering groceries, so you're not gonna get them that day, you're gonna get it the next Yeah, day. so then what do I do? Like I, all of our milk is fed at high school. All of our milk was fed at elementary. We've got lunch in two hours. No, what do I do? You know what I mean? In that day, that's that's yeah. So it says that they, the the vendors on accepted proposal bids agree to deliver milk milk products to each individual school two times a week between the hours of six thirty a.m. to eight a.m. without deviation. So if they can't abide, like, I think. If they don't treat. abide, I can get out of it. Well, I mean, that's a part of this. That's a part of the bid. Mm -hmm. So. And that was part of everyone's I'm not a lawyer. That's part of everyone's bid. So right. I should be able to. I just am saying I'm, I have never had that experience <coughs> being like, hey, guys, you're not mm -hmm. until you're in. But they, but they say that they're going to be there between a are. certain time. They are. But like she said, when they got there and the milk was bad, then they're out on a grocery delivery. They start their deliveries like 3 30 in the morning. They're not going to be able to deliver them. Mm -hmm. Anytime I've ever had the, they've come back for me, but it's been 1, 2, 3 in the afternoon after lunchtime. And, and granted, that only happened once last year. Right. But what do I do for that one? And if we don't serve milk, we don't get reimbursed from the federal government. Isn't that right? Well, they could be without it as long as I took the other component. They could be without it. Okay. I don't know what I would have to go buy water or something. You I mean they'd have to have a drink? When we get reimbursed for this? Mm -hmm. Federal. Oh yeah, all of our lunches are reimbursed. Mm -hmm. Federal food. Yeah, that's how our money. Careful. So what is it? I said if, if it's, if it's good, like at the end of the day, if it's a no on our books, why don't we just do it with what we yeah. yeah. Am I understanding that right? It's a yeah. no on the books. Yeah, we'll come out. Um, yeah, but we always come out ahead. And I had a really good carry over last year. Yeah, we'll, we'll come out ahead a couple hundred thousand. Okay. Okay. And this is about the same price I paid last year, if that helps make your decision. Ever since Bertha has been here, what, four years? This will be my fourth. We've had a large surplus of carryover in that nutrition. Not that, not, I mean, I know they had four yeah, years. Yeah, they have. I'm sorry, yeah. with the four years that they made. Mm -hmm. So do we make this motion for milk yeah, and bread or no, salad? Because I got to do the rest too. Bread. So we wait for that and make a motion on the bread. On you, milk? Can, you could wait and you can do the milk and bread, bread and the bread and then make them both at the same time if you want. I think we all agree on that. Thank you. And like I said, I know if you'll ask me, and I don't know where that'll ever get us, but he's really good to take care of me on everything else, but it just worries me. I think I'm on my list. I like being able to call it. Does every time I have it, I watch it. I have them over there, and I'm, I'm just looking at them to get my. I'm going to cry. I'm going to kind of average it out. I'm going to put it on with you. Bertha, while you're opening that, how's your new freezer working now? Right.
Great, great, great. It needs to be finished on the door frame, but it is wonderful having it over there. We've added two walk-in freezers in the Not past, wood, it's past two the years. <laughs> We've added one at the early childhood, one at the high school. Yeah, we did that several years ago. We've got a new commodity on the other one. Yes. We actually got to around that one getting a curb bar open. No lie. I would carry my, it was a nail bar. I carry my key down the hall in freeze. It's stuck in such a and I always felt so weird. I don't, I don't know how you guys got by without, with, without these two freezers that put out. Is that, and they all can start in the old uh, concession area? It's worth less. Yeah. Is it still there? No, no, no. We put it, it's in, you know, the market store it is. Yes. If you drive, it's kind of not, I don't like the way it looks on the outside. I just don't, but it sticks out the building there. But it has been great. We don't, I mean, because we have to go to the halls and go to the carts and drive around. Okay. And my early childhood would have to drive up and get food and take it down. Well, now yeah. we could have walked in down there last year. Yeah, but no, 15. We did it 15. Years before that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, we had this one last year. This would be more energy efficient. Oh, it should be. That old one. I don't know. How do you think that thing was? It was old. Probably. It's probably it's probably it's probably original thing. Yeah. Well, like I said, it would freeze so hard. Marshall even had to get a paint. I mean, it was awful. It was embarrassing. It was like something that was so all right, red bid, finny key. And once it I'm gonna come. The whole week comes down to a dollar seventy-two a loaf. I'm just going to go with the things that we use the most. Um, hamburger buns. Or I don't like it when he does that. It's ten eighty-eight. Well, it's eighteen cents a case, and has had sixteen in them. They don't all ride on the same meter, is why I sometimes do. Turn out. Well, they're 18 cents a bun, and they're 16 packages, 16 in a package, and they're fake packages. I know that's crazy. For 1088 case, I mean, that's how it comes out to be. But everybody else I know is going to write it a little bit different. I don't even know what they're send them what you want from them. I do. You see on here. I mean, please send it to that size. So, in this thing right here? Yeah. In this I know it's on this one. Well, no, I'm just saying in, in the in the yeah. in the bid that they, they won't that we won't be they won't be entertained if they're not filled out correctly. Yeah. Yes, I do need to, and I think it is in there honestly. And I was wrong. It's twelve, and I see that's where they get it. He does have it written here. I'm just going to see it. I apologize. Eight, Eighteen cents a bun. Eighteen cents a bun. So it's five five packages and twelve in it. So there's sixty buns in a case. Yeah. Well, I how much was it a case? 10 80. And then the hot dog buns were 15 cents a bun. 9 93 a case. 64 buns in a case. Because when we get to another one, I guarantee you they're going to be And we did use them last year. Like I said, he worked with me and changed some products. But I wasn't happy about getting it frozen because we don't have, even with the new freezers, we don't have a place to keep it frozen. So at some schools. Well, no, it's kind of outdated. That's not wrong. Yeah, and I argue, I mean, and once again, there was a like, probably should have taken the action. But it's so good to us on other stuff that I didn't. You know, you hate to, I don't want to be that way. Like, so this would be fine and he would do his best to take care of it. And sometimes they give things and then they can't, you know, and he's, this one is flowers. And this is a bread company. That's all they do is bread. We've used them before. We have used them. This comes out of Texas. The bid does, but they're not out of it. I think they might. They're out. Yeah. Forget it. Texas. And they're low size. I apologize, guys. I know this takes. Thank you. Benny Keith for 24 ounce loaves. For flowers, it's only 20 ounce loaves. They're $1.38 a case. Oh, what's that worth? What did it, uh, Benny Keith's bread, their loaf is $1.77, but it's a 24 ounce loaf. Where's uh, Flowers is $1.38, but it's only a 20 ounce loaf. 
Uh, FI didn't move the decimal over far enough. That's only six, that milk deal, only 660 bucks. Like I said, I know I'm going to get flat from the from the vendor, and I hope that we can, I mean, we're not using them because they were cheaper because every year kind of hands me about it, but I think the milk man goes a long way. Yeah, that's, a, that's an added cost. And if you look, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't run copies, but what happens if I pay our bills and I send them all over, so I don't want to keep the copy, but I mean, there was several times we created that several hundred dollars if we were going to be out on spring break, anything. Okay. He would tell you, I'd say, I've got however many, and he'd say, okay, I'll be there to get it and leave me a credit. Can you keep, may do the same. I'm not sure, but yeah. So like I said, we could give them a try if they really wanted to. Just kind of cute. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll make Thanks a motion. So much. I'll show you the except the high milk bin and the bimbo bread bin. Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 10. Vote to approve or not approve Miller office equipment for the 2018-2019 school year. I want to I want to table that one. I'm waiting on some more uh, information. Okay. Is that for copiers? Copiers. Okay. Second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 11, vote to approve or not approve entering to agreement of a memorandum with the understanding with the Oklahoma Department of Career and Technology and the Henrietta Public Schools for the purpose of o Oklahoma Education Lottery Trust, 2018-2019 school year. And this is to accept the 15,000. I recommend we accept it. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Who made, I never, who made the first motion? I did. Second. Thank you. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 12, vote to approve or not approve any to an agreement with the Center for Education Law for the 2018-2019 school year. I recommend we uh, continue our agreement with um, Center for Education and Law. We've been using them for the past going on five years here. Make the motion. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Wakes? Yes. Item number 13, vote to approve or not approve renewal agreement for special services. United Community Action Program 2018-2019 school year. All right, then we continue our agreement with the United Community Action Head Start Program. So moved. All second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. <coughs> Jamie Young? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 14, vote to approve or not approve the renewal with E Backpack LLC for the 2018-2019 school year. I recommend we renew our E Backpack agreement for the 2018-19 school year. I like that motion. Second. All in favor, Jim Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. And number 15, vote to approve or not approve the addition of the high school period of TSA Technology Students of America to, to continue the advancement of the STEM program and competition for our students for 2018-2019 school year. Um, a little statement from the principal, um, Mr. Noble and Board of Education. I would like to recommend the addition of the high school period of TSA Technology Students of America to continue the advancement of the STEM program and competition for our students. I must provide a copy of the approval and minutes that confirm the placing of uh, placing an adjunct teacher, Dominique Tregesser, as instructor slash sponsor. Thank you for your consideration, uh, Brad Wyan, principal. So this is where the sun new, right? Yes, it's so the kids can compete. And it's going to be a class period? No, it's, it's like um, there's competitions. 
And the, if we're a member of TSA, we're eligible to, to uh, compete against other schools who are also members of TSA. And in order for us to become members, we have to have a copy of the minutes that show the board approved it, because there's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of levels of rigor they want to make sure schools adhere to, since it's a STEM program. And for our kids, who are elementary or middle school girls went to Georgia. We want to continue that into the high school, so as our STEM programs grow, our high school kids can start competing with other high school kids. Okay, the way it's worded, it says high school period, so it's not a it's not a class, it's not a daily period that they it's not a class that enrolls in. There is a there is a, a, a student class for the high school kids next year, yes. But this is just an addition to that. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So should we leave the word period in here or start the word I would do it the way you did. Okay. And um, the, the, main, the main thing, our goal is we want kids to be able to compete when we're ready. Okay. I make a motion that we add uh, TSA to our membership list. Second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I'm number 16. Vote, vote to approval or no, or not approval. Not approved. The renewal upgrade library automation software for 2018-2019 school. Uh, the word fall it should have been in there. And it's uh, it's for the library. It's for the, uh, it's the renewal. Can I recommend that we renew it um, for next school year, 1819? Everything the same? Yes. I'll motion with approval. Second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I'm number 17, vote to accept or not accept resignation letter from Ms. Winter-Wedlock as of June 19, 2018. Um, this year, I am submitting my formal letter of resignation for the position of teacher's aide. I have enjoyed my time at HES. Thank you for the opportunity. Sincerely, Winter Whitlock. I will make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I'm number 18, vote to accept or not accept resignation letter from Mr. Daniel Nathaniel Thompson as of June 8, 2018. Mr. Noble, this spring semester I have been discussing with Dirk the possibility of taking another position which would not require a long commute. On Monday I interviewed with another school and I will be accepting their offer. I have appreciated the opportunity to serve at Henrietta but will not be returning for the 2018-19 school year. Sincerely, Nate Thompson. He was social studies, right? Yes. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I'm number 19. Vote to accept or not accept resignation from Miss Jenny Honeycat as of June 30th, 2018. Dear Mr. Noble and the Henry of Board of Education, please accept this letter as notice of my resignation from my position as first grade teacher. My last day of employment with Henrietta Public Schools will be July 10th, 2018. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to work here. It has been an enjoyable experience. Again, thank you for your time and friendship. Sincerely, Jimmy Honeycutt. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All in favor, Jimmy Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I'm number 20. Vote to convene into executive session in accordance with 25 Oklahoma State's uh, Section 3307B1 to discuss the hiring of the following positions for the 2018 2019 school year. A, one high school six hour cafeteria position. B, one half day athletic director position. And C, two pair professionals. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. 17. Yeah. I'm good. 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 I'm good.
Item number 21, acknowledge returning the open session from executive session at 7.27 p.m. Item number 22, executive session minutes, discussion held, no action taken. Item 23, vote to employ or not employ the following positions for the 2018-2019 school year. A, one high school, six hour cafeteria position, one half day athletic director position, and C, two paraprofessionals. Mr. Noel, you have a few. Um, I'd like to recommend that we hire uh, Shannon Vassar for the uh, six hour cafeteria position. Uh, I'd like to recommend that we hire Dutch Bannonborn for the half day athletic director position. And I'd like to recommend that we hire Felicia Greenhall and Kendall Hodge as the para uh, paraprofessional position involved for the 2018 19 school year. I'd like that we accept the superintendent's recommendation. I will second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Uh, James Williams? Yes. Item right, number 24, HESA report. Not here. Item right, number 25, HEA report. No report. No report. Okay. Item right, number 26, principal's report. Well, we went to Engage Oklahoma uh, workshop at Ada today. Uh, one of the things that I learned was a high school senior can now take 18 hours concurrent classes and a junior nine hours. So they have upped. And have the option of a fee waiver. And yes. For those 18 hours. For those 18 hours. Yeah. Uh, yes. I graduated high school with an associate's. Mm -hmm. So, the fee waiver comes off. I can say one of them. Yes. 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 Nine. Nine. Nine hours. And I think it was six. Okay. Wow. So that's how that changed. Okay. That is awesome. Thank, Thank you. Really Thank you very much. Sure. I got some legislative updates. And yes, uh, did. <laughs> RSA, I went to RSA refresher course, I guess you could say. And, uh, yes. It was, it, was, it was very informative. And Roger's going and something that the board will need to look at, which was addressed in our meeting, was um, uh, the medical marijuana. How it, you know, the guidelines that we will have to use if someone is given a license uh, to use the student. So different things for us to look at. We're going to have policies for us. They're, they're, that still they're in, working still on in it. The works, so they didn't have a whole lot of information to share with us. It was just kind of more to get our wheels turning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is something that's coming down the pipe. Okay. Just like she said, okay. is it drug testing yeah. is for sports? And they have some, right, I mean, they, have, they have some things already, rules, I guess, in place like yeah. under 18. It had to, you have to have two uh, physicians, physicians to rent, yeah, to rent the We were going over some of those details. You know, you, we would still go by our tobacco guidelines of no smoking, no vaping within so, so many feet of a school. Uh, but it, it could be different. <laughs> That was interesting. That was sure. Yeah. So our wheels are turning now. Totally understand. And the policy, when you ask our policy, I'm not sure. Yeah, we got an okay tailing. No, I mean, yes. it's, you know, the okay. school administrator schedules two narcotics every day. When they give a kid an Adderall, yeah. a Ritalin, so yeah. it's not going to be that safe. Oh, and there was something about sunscreen that blew my mind. Oh, yeah, that. There was a. 
The student can administer it all they want, but if you assist the student, you have to get parent permission. And I think a uh, school nurse got in trouble for, for applying it. I believe I was thinking it didn't have an electric reaction. So you said you need to put sunscreen on, so they know. You're going to have to deal with your mom to get sunburned. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you very much. It's an enlightening news. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 27, before we have a report yet. 28, Mr. Fox in here? No. Okay. 29 superintendent's report, Mr. Noble. Uh, I just have a couple things. Um, I'm going to TLE training with Ms. Fuhrer and Matlock tomorrow, and Mr. Um, Williams is going to so say 24th, 25th, and 26th. He has to go for three days. We only have to go for one because he has to start from scratch. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> get all you can there. Um, I was, I was, um, uh, approached by the, the property owner at the bottom of the hill where the small church is by the early childhood center and they're willing to or wanting to know if we're wanting to purchase that land um, I'll let you guys know now because we're going to perhaps address it in a month or so if we decide we want to pursue it I didn't want to just spring it on you and say hey is this vote we want to buy this and spend X amount of dollars I want to give you guys a little bit of time to think about it um, but I'll get with you guys um, next week or so next time not when I talk to you guys on the price and the lot sizes and all that kind of thing and just um, mull it around see what we want to think about it, see if we want to pursue it um, it's a perfect spot I mean it's right there in the middle of our campus um, so want to uh, give that some food for thought for you guys um, uh, one thing that's really really big news is the amount of grants we've been receiving uh, we received a, um, a grant, $25,000 a year for PE for five years, $125,000. Um, the Ag just received a $29,500 grant, and the STEM, uh, we, STEM we received a $15,000 grant. So that's, that's $165,000, and our school year is a week old. So that's something we should really be proud of. And um, everyone that's helped with the grants and did legwork for us and, and helped us get all that put together, uh, I, I appreciate it. Um, I, I have to admit, though, the elementary the PE grant was probably the easiest I've ever worked on. <laughs> and it was quite a bit of money. So um, it, was, <laughs> it was one of those where you know, we threw our hat in there, didn't know if we was going to get it, we did. And also, there, um, they're hiring a coordinator for this grant because several schools uh, received the grant. And the State Department called and wanted to know if we would house that person here. And um, she wanted me to spread the word around. And they're not going to work for us. They're going to work for the State Department. We're just going to give them office space. I'm assuming it's because of the locations they have to travel by the highways. And I told her we would, we would uh, definitely try to find an office space for them because they'd be here just a few days. Well, they travel, but periodically. Um, but the job pays $55,000 a year. Uh, retirement, you know, your full insurance for your family, and vacation, and your office would be housed here at Henrietta Public Schools. So what, what's that for? It's for the coordinator, coordinator for this grant. The area coordinator. Area coordinator. For the area coordinator. And there's, for the, there's yeah. several schools got it. And that person would have to travel, but they were asking if we would find a spot for them. And I just want to make it clear that we're not paying them anything. It's the State Department. There'll be a State Department employee. We're just we're just giving them a, a place to um, hang their hat and do their paperwork. So it was yes. um, master's in education. Yes, they have to have. A, if you have a master's in education and you're interested, um, I have the lady's contact uh, name, and she they're really anxious to move forward because once they get this coordinator hired, uh, the quicker the schools that got the grant get their money. So. I'm really hoping they'll, I told her I would definitely spread the word because it helps us the quicker they hire somebody. And it might be a great job for someone in our community that's looking for a job. So, and they would have to, well, they'd have to try for the job, but their office would be located here. Yeah, so. Um, and at the, I did go to the um, uh, Engage as well today. And there was a lot of breakout sessions, so you just pick where you wanted to go. And so I went to uh, several, 
and one of them was the um, that really caught my attention was the uh, the media and social media uh, issues of the day, and they had they had an attorney for the State Department of Education giving the present giving the presentation, and uh, it was it really shocked me how many you know, he had a map of Oklahoma and he had a little uh, animated balloon on all these school districts of how many school teachers have gotten in trouble for their comments on social media. And it was it was in virtually every single county. It was just like a he had it was like a map of Oklahoma and then as he talked the on the presentation the balloons came up and it was uh, it was really shocking. And he was giving examples of things that started out innocently that got teachers in a lot of hot water. And so um, uh, that really that was really an eye opener. Um, so and and uh, the other lady was talking about you know, we're not as savvy some of the kids are with media, social media and the way things work. And they were explaining how, you know, what you put, once you post something, it's, it's there. And, and um, they were giving us uh, ways we could check people's, you know, what they've done. And it's just, um, it's just a different world nowadays. You can't just go in there and say something and be anonymous anymore. And there are ramifications of what you post. And it's getting more and more stringent. So um, that was an eye opener for me. But, uh, and also uh, special ed laws uh, are changing dramatically and um, schools are really going to have to stay on their toes to stay, stay ahead of these special ed laws that are coming along. Um, you almost have to have a law degree just to stay in front of them, but that's just another challenge we're going to be facing in the future, but I'm glad to know that the changes are coming and so we can prepare for them. But it was really a really good day. And that's all I have for my Senate Report. Thank you, Mr. Uh, number 30, board comments? Ms. Duncan? No, Ms. Brown? Okay, Mr. Casey? I have that one. I'm good also today. Uh, item number 31, new business? Yes, I have one thing. Okay. <coughs> Dear Mr. Noble, Henrietta board, uh, Henrietta, uh, board members, with a heavy heart, I am writing this letter to inform you of my resignation for my position as second grade teacher. The effective date of my resignation is July 9th, 2018. Um, while the decision to leave was not easy, I feel that it is the best decision for my family. During the time that I have spent at Henrietta Elementary School, I have had the privilege to work with some amazing teachers and administrators. I have also had the privilege to teach some incredibly smart and talented students, and I will carry those memories with me as I move forward on to my future endeavors. Thank you, Denae Green. Hmm. Item number 32, may I have a motion to adjourn? I like that motion. Mm -hmm. yeah, do we? Yes, you need to vote on that. On number 31. Oh, we do? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the resignation. That's great. I'll second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Weaves? Yes. Okay. Now, number 32, may I have a motion to adjourn? I make that motion. Second. All in favor, Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Casey Jones? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Thank you very much. It is 741. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Oh, that's right. I know what that is. All right. Are they moving that way? Oh, that's right.